I am coming to you in full self-care mode. Let me just... <laughs> hey guys, my name is Alexis and welcome to my channel. As a protective hairstyle, I put these braids in a couple days ago, but I normally wash my hair every four days or so. So my head is starting to get a bit itchy and slightly flaky and as you can see I have quite a bit of frizz here but I'm trying to make this hairstyle last as long as I can because it took me five hours. Today I'm going to attempt to wash my box braids. Praying that they turn out okay and better than what they look like now but I guess if they don't it's no big deal because we're all stuck at home. First step, water bottle. And what we're going to do is we're gonna take some shampoo. Mine is the Shea Moisture Lush and Length Shampoo. That's just what I have right now and I'm almost out. Jeez. Enough to make it sussy in there, which clearly I'm struggling with. Aha, I did it. Okay, that should be funny. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see how much is in there. It's not much, but I know that it'll be enough to suds up in there, and I think that's all that matters. So I'm just gonna take this and. Ooh. Ooh! Maybe not shake it that hard, sorry. around there. So I'm just gonna take this hair tie and move my hair as I go so I'm not doing sections over again or missing any sections. So, yeah, let's get started. Slightly nervous, but no reason to be, I guess. I'm gonna start here in the front, and I'm just going directly onto my scalp. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be doing it like that. <laughs> okay, here is my microfiber towel, which gonna need because it's gonna get all over the place but it probably would help if I didn't tip forward I'm just gonna start rubbing as I go kind of like if I were just shampooing my hair in the shower I guess oh, and that feels good And quickly, just to mention, the reason why I'm doing it this way and not just regular in the shower is because I want to make sure that I'm not causing any extra frizz on top of what I already have. And I also don't want the shampoo to sit inside my braids. So if I'm lathering up all of my hair and it's just sitting there, I might dry it out. And that's the complete opposite of what I want to do. So yeah, that's why I'm doing it this way. So I just finished half of my head and <laughs> feels so good. And I'm about to finish this other half the same way that I just did the first. So I just finished up massaging that into my roots and now it's time to hit the shower. So I just got out of the shower and I put this microfiber towel on my head to make sure that it wasn't dripping all over my back, but let's take this out. So this is what my hair is looking like. It is wet, wet, but before I dry it, I need to put some product in it. And this is a leave-in that I've been using for some years now. All things are natural leave-in, and it's literally the only leave-in I ever use, so nothing new here. I'm 
also going to be using a little bit of oil on my scalp to make sure that it doesn't get dry and also to give myself a little bit of a scalp massage for extra hair growth. Next, I'm going to be using the Hair and Body Butter, also from All Things O Natural. And I'm using this to just seal in all of that moisture I put in. I'm not going to use a ton. And putting all of these products in my hair, I am doing just straight down method so that I can try to smooth any flyaways that I can. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to be using this edge control on my baby hairs. Let's get this hair. Okay, so now my edges are laid and it is time to get started drying my hair. I'm just gonna be using this Revlon hair dryer. It was the only one that I had in the house that had a concentrator. And the concentrator is important because it's gonna help blow all my hair in one direction, meaning it might cause less frizz and it might cause the frizz that I do have to just kinda calm down a little bit. Okay, so I would say my hair is about 50% dry, if not more. So at this point, I'm just gonna put this hair scarf over my head to try to lay some of those flyaways down. And I am gonna tie this pretty tight, just because I really want it to stay flat to my head. I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like when it's completely dry. All right, so I did end up having to sleep in that scarf because I kind of underestimated the time that it would take for my braids to dry. So I ended up sleeping in the scarf and this is the result. My scalp feels like a million times better. It's definitely super clean and I don't have any itchiness or flakiness, so that was the main purpose of this. There is still some frizz, but it's not nearly as bad. And yeah, I hope this video was useful to you guys. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you're new here, and I'll see you in the next video.